So look, YouTube, breaking news situation, shooting at Drake's mansion. What we know about it. Mm, man, what the heck, man? Yeah, man, this is some breaking news today, man, that, uh, you know, Drake's, so-called Drake's uh, mansion got shot up, man. And, you know, um, I heard allegedly that somebody did get, you know, injured hurt you know what i mean so we definitely gonna check this out before we do man sending nothing but positive energy and love y'all way man soak it up only for those that deserve it you already know what it is hope everybody out there is feeling good man and just having a wonderful day uh, i appreciate y'all once again tapping in with me knocking these videos out with me man and like i say all the time y'all feel free to uh leave some comments man let me know you know how y'all feel about these these stories and these situations and these videos, man? I appreciate it, man. But yeah, man, it's breaking news, man. Um, let's let's jump into it. Let's see what it's about. Police confirming a shooting yeah, occurred see. outside the home of Canadian rapper Drake in Toronto. This happening overnight in the wake of police confirming a shooting occurred outside the home of Canadian rapper Drake in Toronto. This happening overnight in the wake of an escalating beef between Drake and hip hop star Kendrick Lamar. This is the scene outside of Drake's Man. home in the city's Bridal Path neighborhood. Courtesy of our CTV News Chopper, police say a man sustained serious injuries after a shooting outside that home and was taken to hospital. Police also say a suspect fled in a vehicle, but no description has been released. So far, there's no word on whether Drake was at home at the time of the shooting, but we understand from police that he has offered to fully cooperate with them. Joining me now is Mark Mendelson. He is a former homicide detective. Yeah, I heard it. He's fully willing to cooperate. Look, man, we are here to give our reaction. And part of giving your reaction sometimes is your opinion. And, you know, everybody got one. I, I I don't know if it's... If it's about to be a situation where they might try to paint it as if, like... Y'all know the shooting was, was ordered by Kendrick or something, man. And, man, they, they better not even try to run that one, man. Real talk, man. And I heard them saying escalating beef, man. This ain't no beef, man. You know what I mean? That, that's that's the media trying to pump something up and make something bigger, keep us distracted from what's really going on around us and what the elite is really doing around us, man. So y'all already know, man. Y'all, y'all, you know, I don't know, man. That's just how I'm kind of getting it already. So let, let me, let me, let me jump back into it, man. And he joins us now to discuss the developments in this case. As Mark, we're waiting for more word from police. Uh, details are very scant right now. But what do you make of this shooting? This, for our viewers across the country, is known as the Bridal Path, this neighborhood. It's got a lot of mansions, um, but it's pretty open. It's not as though it's a gated area. This is why I stopped. Oh man, they got all right. They coming with a couple of uh, commercials on Amazon. Yeah, and good morning, Marcia. You're right. It's not a gated area, but there are very, very large homes in that neighborhood. Um, you know, and, and and what goes along with large homes like that is a lot of security cameras um, and and other security uh, precautions that are taking place. And if you ever uh, had the opportunity to drive past Drake's residence, you'll notice that there are gates and there are walls and there is a sort of strategically placed trees, et cetera, to provide security. And there are also uniform security guards at the residence. And it's my understanding from a, from a source within Toronto Police that, in fact, it is a security guard who is the victim of the shooting, who was working at the time. It was described to me as a drive-by shooting. Um, and as you mentioned, there, you know, the police have put out a suspect vehicle. <laughs> so that's all. We I'm not. Hey, as you, as you, real quick, my people, black sheep, man. Come on, man. I'm not laughing at uh, the person that you know got um, shot. I'm not laughing at him or that at all. Hope that person gets better. You know, what I mean, I hope they pull through. You know, what I mean, real talk. But, you know, I just thought about something, drive-by shooting, man. You know, if you, 
you know, the way I'm thinking, like, man, Kendrick's from the West Coast. I understand, like, I don't know, it's just the way that, 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 that this dude's saying it and trying to paint this picture. Like, I don't know, I just think they trying to paint it as Kendrick has something to do with this, man. And me personally, I don't believe it, man. It's just crazy, like, especially when you know that most people, this is this this is what's on the internet. It's just me saying, you know, saying what's floating on the internet. Most people have already deemed Kendrick Lamar to win this whole rap battle, rap beef shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's just, it's just, I don't know, it's just weird, man. Y'all gotta excuse me, man. I, I'm just kind of blown by this. It's fairly stated we don't know if Drake is at home, if he's in the country, or wherever. And now what the police are going to be doing is looking at the motivation behind um, behind this shooting, again, there's lots of security cameras and all kinds of homes around that area. Lots of security guards in other homes as well and patrols. So they may have information of investigative value as well. But they'll be looking for the motivation. And of course, Marcia, in the backdrop of all of this is this sort of feud that's been going on, as you mentioned, with uh, with Lamar. <laughs> uh, in terms of who's dropping boy, y'all better stop with y'all goofy asses, asses boy. Leave that, lead, uh, hey, lead lead that God alone, bro. That's a God. That's a black God, bro. That's a real black king, bro. Lee that Lee, y'all can't mess with him, man. Listen, bro. People, this 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 is this is the world we live in, man. And people like to say everything's conspiracy, everything's fake, man. Y'all better for those that sleep on, on real game, man, y'all better wake y'all sleepy tardy asses up, man. Cause there's real shit going on around you. Spiritual warfare. Uh, you know, behind the scene warfare, man. You know what I mean? Real talk. And you know, this is a time and day and age to witness some things. It's really, you know, a great time to be alive, for real, for real. If you understand and know, man, so take advantage of it, man. A lot of people didn't have, make it to see a lot of stuff like this going down and a lot of wicked and evil things being broken. A lot of people didn't. A lot of people had to pass away for people like us to see this days and moments. And, man, you know, it's 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 it's, it's a... Self, self choice at this point of which route you want to go and what you want to believe. You know what I mean? So, man, yeah, man, y'all, all my black sheeps out, sheeps out there, this real black sheep, y'all, y'all, man, y'all open y'all spiritual eye, man, y'all get awoke, man. All my gritters out there, man, y'all stay on the grind, man, for what y'all know is right and what y'all, y'all know is going to work best for you and yours and, and don't be worrying about this foolishness. But let's get back into this, man. We actually went on Google Maps and, uh, uh, re uh, with Lamar um, in terms of who's dropping songs and who is, is disrespecting the other one. Uh, and as early as this morning, you know, somebody actually went on Google Maps and uh, uh, re tagged Drake's residence as Lamar's residence. Um, so it's this feud going on. Now, whether this is all for clicks or for publicity, uh, I mean, no, nobody knows at this point. But it really right, doesn't take anything up. more than somebody being offended by what they're seeing or reading. Uh, to decide that they're going to take things into into their own hands um, and, and commit this crime. And that's what the police will be looking at now. So it's very early on in the investigation. Lots of good security tape to look at. Bro, you have a, a living man, it ain't hard to find where people shot. live, so man. He's able to speak. He will speak. And he'll be interviewed by the police. And uh, we'll have to go from there. Okay, uh, and I, I just want to say, Mark, uh, this is unconfirmed that it was the security guard. We're still waiting to hear officially from police. We expect them to be scrumming, hopefully, with reporters outside of that scene shortly, very shortly. I do want to ask you how police investigate something like this when a high-profile celebrity is involved. Well, they're going to look at the motivation, as I mentioned earlier. You know, were there other threats that were coming in throughout the night, uh, whether by text message or online? They'll be scouring all the online postings to see if anybody made uh, any untoward or violent threats towards Drake or anybody that works for Drake or his residence. These are the things that they'll be looking at. They'll be scouring over the security tape to try and get a license plate uh, and a description of that vehicle. Um, and you know, and they'll be they'll be hunting down that vehicle as well. It may be stolen, it may not. We don't know. All of this is very early on. They'll be looking at the ballistics that uh, remain at the scene, whether it's shell casings or uh, if, if there's a bullet that's been retrieved by from the victim or at the scene. They'll be looking at that, comparing that to other other uh, crimes that are out there now. 
Uh, so there's lots of steps to be to be taken. There's going to be interviews of the, uh, you know, Drake staff and and uh, and and neighbors and canvassing of that of that nature. So it's going to take some time. The, you know, this is not new. We have seen this not only in this city but certainly in the United States, where there have been feuds between rappers who have filmed a a video in somebody else's quote unquote territory. Um, and the response has been violence. We've seen murders related to the to the industry, people who are involved in that genre of music, and we, we've seen a lot of murders in the States that have been related to that. So th this is not new, um, but it is obviously upsetting, and uh, it, it will be thoroughly investigated, I'm sure, by the people. And I'm well aware that this Do next that. question is of a speculative nature, but we understand Drake is cooperating with police, but we don't know if he was there. Um, the fact that he has made that outrage or they reached out to him, do you more think than likely he wasn't he there? Was that's what they go the put out more than likely. I that's what no I'll be. I, I, I just don't know about the travels of, of Drake. I'm, I'm too old, Marcia, to keep an eye on that. But at the end of the day, uh, he's going to have information of investigative value, whether he was in the home or whether he was in another. Of course, country. it's his home. And, you know, he has and, access again, to the to, has, has footage. Been threatened in any way either directly or indirectly and from who and what steps did they take what steps did the security guards at the, at the residence take so by cooperating i you know i i would expect him to cooperate i'm quite sure the police reached out to him right away uh because he will have some answers to it to help fill some of the voids in this puzzle um i want to ask you uh about security at the home and you're right if you were able to direct if anyone has driven by they would see that security was pretty tight but clearly, Mark, this shows us that no security system is perfect. No, absolutely not. I mean, you know, if, if, if what I've been told is correct, that it was a drive-by shooting, uh, there, there, really, there really is nothing preventative there. There's cars, it's, it's, it's an open road. There's cars able to drive back and forth all the time. And, uh, you know, security guards in Canada are not armed. Uh, you know, they are unar unarmed security guards. And, uh, you know, you can have the best security systems in the world. You can have the best physical security in terms of gates, and, you know, uh, you know, brick walls, things of that nature. But to be able to be uh, proactive and prevent somebody from just driving by the house and opening fire, uh, short of closing the road, uh, there really is no solution. Could you see this investigation expanding to involve other law enforcement, or is this in the hands of Toronto Police solely? Well, right now, the offense took place in Toronto, so they will have jurisdiction. They'll have carriage of the investigation. In the event that they have to reach out to other police services to follow up on threats or perceived threats, that there'll be no hesitation from the police to reach to whatever police service, wherever it may be in North America or in Europe. It doesn't really matter. There's always good cooperation. Uh, you know, that, and, and you're right, they may have witnesses they need interviewed very quickly in wherever, LA or London or Paris. We, we don't know. But it's just a call away and those interviews will be done. Celebrities are often targeted. It's even worse with social media these days. All right, I'm going to stop it right there. This video um, it's pretty long, man. And I'm going to stop it right there. Um, my camera's getting low. Um, everything's starting to act up, man. Like I said, I, where I live is mountains, and I've been getting some bad signals. So got my little internet people coming out. Hopefully they get me right figure out the problem, do something. So I can offer y'all smoother videos and content, audio, all that. But yeah, man, y'all let me know, of course. Feel free what y'all think about this video here. The situation is breaking news with Drake. You know what I mean? Um, I don't got, I don't know Drake. I ain't neither one of these brothers. But I, me personally, I feel like it's a stage thing. Uh, I do believe a lot of uh, wicked things go on in the industry, music, movie industry, the entertainment industry, period. And, uh, you know, I just think this is some stage and something they trying to push and put out there, man. And, you know, they gonna try to more than likely paint it toward, push it, uh, point the finger towards Kendrick Lamar or someone around Kendrick Lamar. And it ain't that deep. I mean, come on, man. Y'all really think somebody flew their ass all the way to Canada Wherever Drake lived, you know what I mean? If anything, it could be somebody locally, bro. And that's the thing, man. We got a lot of clout chasers in this world. We got a lot of weirdos in this world. A lot of uh, just insane individuals in this world that they probably could have just took some of that and ran with it, man. I don't mean 
you know, Kendrick Lamar, anybody in Kendrick Lamar's camp has something to do with this. So, you know I mean, yeah, it's just, it's crazy, man. People can't just take an ass whooping, man. Me, personally, and I know a lot of people are Drake fans, are not going to agree with it. And everybody has their right to pick who they wanted or what they believe or what they thought about what song. I don't, I don't want no, neither one of these cats getting into it and, and you know, going to war uh, at all, man. But... You know what I mean? This is a, a new situation. But yeah, man, until next time, man, my camera about to die. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I appreciate y'all vibing with me once again, rocking with me, man. Until next time, it's all love. Y'all stay on y'all grit. Y'all know what it is. Cause nigga, I like money and nice shit. My swag is priceless. My bag is righteous. You mad? I got the...